she was all smiles. So I'm not sure where she's at. She looks good. She look, definitely looks relaxed. Starting with a bang this week. Ariane Titmus from lane four. So all the action in the centre of the pool. Lani Palace have probably won the start. In fact, she comes up marginally ahead of Ariane. And Jamie Perkins in lane three, also up near the speed, but Ariane just starting to pull through in the middle. She had such a dominant lead in the heat this morning at about the halfway mark. She was a couple of body lengths ahead and just continued to put a space on the rest of the opposition. And Ariane turns ahead of Lani Pallister and Jamie Perkins after 50. She's out quickly. So that world record split that we're watching here is also Ariane Titmus. So this is the pace that we watch her swim. The way that she's going to go, be able to go out, the way that she's going to be able to control this race. The key mark for Ariane Titmus is at the last 100 metres to go. This is when all of the training, all of her preparation comes into play, but she's setting herself up very nicely through that first 100. Strong swim from Lani as well in lane five. Lani breathes to the left every stroke like a traditional distance swimmer. So she's got into that stroke and that rhythm very early. She's actually almost gaining ground on Arnie in this third lap when she's breathing away from her. So almost very aware that she's got to keep within striking distance of Arnie and hoping that Arnie will drag her to a PB in a qualifying time. And that's what, that's what you can do. You can go off one of the other competitors, be in there, be in just the, the kind of slipstream that they have, be able to carry through that some of their speed. And just keep an eye on the clock too in relation to Arnie Pallister because it is a very small but select group of swimmers that have broken the four minute barrier in the 400. Ariane being one. Summer McIntosh, Katie Ledecky, Federica Pellegrini and Erica Fairweather. So this will be interesting at the 200 metre mark. Arnie's still under her own world record pace at this stage. This is where she dropped off slightly this morning. Wow. Have a look at the clock. She's still nearly half a second half under. A second. She's been consistent every 50 metres. Let's see if this crowd can also help Arnie uh, through this race. But Lani Pallister being able to stick it with her right here, incredibly impressive. So Ariane asserting a dominance, but Lani Pallister right there as he searches to break that four minute barrier in the 400. But she, Ariane, she's clapped it on here. And she's suddenly two body lengths ahead of Lani Pallister. The crowd that have come here to Chandler tonight are hoping to see a world record in the first final. I feel like she just lifted almost off that turn. This is, this is a movement that she's put in place. It's kind of like a set piece for Ariane. I think Lani Pallister being so close to her, it's actually spurred on. She hasn't known exactly what pace she's at. She wants to be out ahead. She wants to have that lead. Almost bring it to four or five metre mark lead. Key point, last 100 metres. This is where we also need to keep an eye on Lani. Has she gone out too hard? We're seeing a bit of a resurgence of Jamie Perkins in lane three, the 19-year-old training partner of Arnie, so she knows what she's capable of. But right now, it is all Ariane Titmus. That six-feet kick has almost increased with 100 metres to go. What time is she capable of tonight? So she's still on the world record pace by a crowd of Arjun. And the crowd urging this global superstar on. She has put a space between herself and Lani Pallister. She goes into touch, still under world record time. This is going to be very tight. It's all come down at the last 50 metres. Relying on the crowd, relying on that six-foot kick that she has there as well. Come on, come on, Arnie. 30 metres to swim. It's Ariane versus the world record. Can we start this week in the most stunning of fashion? Ariane's hanging on. The red line's coming. Ariane Timmer, she might be getting a little bit tired. She's stretching out on the wall. The world record's gone, but watch out for the Olympic champs coming back for more gold. Touches the wall and has also booked a spot for Paris. 